What's going on, fellas? I got a Walker Turner bandsaw here. It's a um, pretty old unit. I don't see a date on this thing anywhere. I imagine the serial number might tell that. You can read it. But uh, the reason why I'm posting this video is I was just getting ready to bust it out and clean it up for a guy. And I was going to test out this um, steam cleaner that I'm building for someone at the same time. And I wanted to show you guys something that I thought to be... I just found this absolutely amazing. Um, I'm not easily impressed. But uh, this sure enough did it. Not a lot of people would be impressed with what we're watching here, guys. I mean, I'm definitely a machine nerd. I am just utterly excited about what we're looking at here. I mean, for crying out loud, this thing's older than I am. And I was wondering if anyone out there, before I take this thing apart, I don't even know if I want to, I'm liable to jack it up. Is this a journal bearing or something? This thing is the most free gliding bearing I think I've ever seen in my life. We'll be here all day, dude. It will just spin and spin. You can see where they've ground it out for balance. Watch this. It's just gonna... Nope, it went over the hill. Isn't that amazing? I mean, any of you machinists out there who appreciate good work, um, I'd definitely like to hear some of your guys' input about this bearing. Now, it's on a rocker. I don't know too much about band saws. And I um, assume this is just to adjust the, the kilter to align up with the one below. I don't know. But other than that, it's fairly st stiff. There's a little bit of play if you go in this direction. Not much. I'm just wondering if... Can regular bearings do that? Like typically roller bearings that are lubricated can't come close to that. That's got to be a journal, right? See what this lower one does. This baby's old. Still got the tires on this one. This one feels a little funkier. Ooh, but I tell you what, it is as solid as a rock. There is literally no play in that thing. Oh, I know what's going on. This has a freaking cord wrapped around it or something. Well, not really. Probably got a lot more bearing in there. It's actually pretty smooth in itself. Eh. I feel like a grind in there. You can kind of hear it. I wonder if that's oil or something with dirt in it. But just to find this thing, you know, in this state, this old, and the bearings to be in that good a shape. This one here, like I said, is solid as a rock. Dude, oop, I got some backspin on her. Look at that. Man, they just couldn't get that weight off this side for the life of them. Could <laughs> it still fall into the bottom? But yeah, I mean, dude, absolutely zero play. So, whether that's journal bearings or ball bearings or needle, I'm not sure. I'm half tempted to take this thing apart and clean it all out. It's in such good shape. It deserves it, you know? So, I'm reluctant to spray this thing down with this steam gun. But, uh, I think this thing has some lead paint on it. I wanted to clean it up. Just give it a little once over. Check the motor out on this thing too. That motor is awesome, dude. This is like jewelry to me. I would decorate my garage with this motor. <laughs> this is like a centerpiece. Worthy of a glass case. Equipped with ball bearings. Yeah, they need clean though. You ain't getting no back spin out of that one. They're a little grimy. Still not bad. I just, I bet you the grease is just fouled up. Grease turns black, and I think it breaks down chemically over, over the years. Now, 
One time I opened up a bearing, a planetary gear, and it smelled like tar. And it turned into tar. I don't know if anyone's ever seen oil turn into tar. I have. So, maybe I will just give this thing a quick spray down. Man, I don't know if I should do that. Maybe with some dry steam. I kind of would like to paint it. I don't know. Now after seeing that wheel spin that easy, I don't know if I want to go spraying this thing down with steam. That is just too impressive to me. To be this old and just be that smooth. If anyone's interested in buying this thing, hit me up in my email. Um, I don't ever use it. However, maybe I should. It just needs tires. The tires are gone. I don't remember what I paid for this thing. Like I said, it it's so heavy, it's about ready. Them tires are screaming, as old Shooty would say. 